hello guys this video tutorial is related to performing the moderator analysis so uh, there is not a huge difference to perform moderation analysis you have to just open the smart PLS draw your research model as your approved model so let me draw the model first let's take so this is my model I suppose this is my model okay so I'm just selecting all my variables as per my approval so let's take this one and the composite image let's assume that this is your moderator and this is your dependent variable so you have to collect all these first just connecting this and just rotating the items to the left and I indicate this to the left what happened sorry I have to align them to the right all right after this I'm renaming this this is IG instant gratification this is flow this is mood regulation and this is compulsive usage CSU okay so uh, for performing the moderating analysis or moderation analysis you have to first connect your moderator with the dependent variable so I want to check the moderation of MR in between IG and CSU and IG and FL and CSU so what I have to do is first I have to connect this MR with this CSU after this I have to collect, select uh, this option select and then right click over here and click on add moderating effect after this I know that my moderator variable is MR and my independent variable is IG I want to check the moderating impact of MR in between IG and CSU okay click on product indicator approach okay just click OK At, after that you can see that there is a moderating effect of this I am just renaming this to make my things easy so it is basically the moderation in between MR and IG so this is the product indicator that's why I'm writing MR steric IG okay I also want to check the moderating impact of MR in between FL and CSU so what I have to do is again right click right click on the dependent variable click add moderating effect moderator is MR and independent variable is FL again product indicator approach click OK here it is I'm just writing it over here and renaming it this is the moderation of MR and FL okay after this the process is same this uh, relationship is not present in your hypothesis so while reporting the results ignore this relationship wherever it appears in the analysis so just click on PLM algorithm first you have to check all the indicators Outer loadings all the indicator uh, this value is less than 0.7 so I'm just deleting this again from the analysis this is 0.623 so I have to delete this one and also this one because it was also less than 0.7 again perform the analysis okay so these are absolutely fine these are absolutely fine now this one is below so I have to delete this one as well and then perform it again 
so now the value is this is also less than 0 0.06 0 0.7 so i have to delete this one as well and all the values are fine now now here this csu 0.429 this one this one and this one this is not the right approach to delete uh, simultaneously you have to delete one by one and then perform analysis again and again might be the value the one item which you delete uh, increase the value of the other so now you can see that all the values are fine after this you have to check all those uh, control reliability and validity The value of CSU is fine, FL is fine, IG is fine, MR is fine. These are the moderators. So you have to ignore the values of these composite reliability and this. So it means that you have to ignore these two laws. Similarly, in the discriminant table, you have to ignore the value of MR and FL and MR and IG in both rows and columns. After this, you have to check the values of cross-loading. Similarly, in this as well, you have to delete this uh, column and this column. And similarly, from the rows as well, this column and this col column which has a product uh, relationship in the table similarly from the stmt as well this column this column and then these two both rows after this you have to assess that all the values are as per the criteria discussed in the past videos after this you have to save all these values uh, let's assume that i have saved the values so after this you have to perform the bootstrapping and this should be on 5000 let's assume that i have placed one zero more okay now these are the results you have to report uh, fl has a significant impact because the value of p is less than 0 0.05 ig does not have any impact on csu uh, mr does not have any impact on csu similarly um, if i can say that mr does not moderate the relationship between FL and CSU similarly MR does not moderate the relationship between IJ and CSU because the value of P is greater than 0 0.05 you have to save these results as well as discussed in the past videos that's it and while reporting do not consider the value of MR with CSU because it was not presented in the hypothesis we just made the hypothesis of IG and FL and the relationship of I MR as a mediator in between these two so do not uh, while making the tables for path analysis do not write the hypothesis of MR with CSU thank you so much